What is up, all of you amazing Frost Deficient fans out there? This is your man Frosty back from his vacation, which was ever so beautiful. I loved it. Got some sun. Hi, guys. Frosty here, interrupting Frosty here. Well, you see, I had already, um, filmed the episode. I'm in the editing process, and I realize I done screwed up on something. So, I forgot to th uh, show a little video of, um, what happened on my vacation. So, you guys want to know what I did on my vacation? Check this out. Enjoy, because I sure didn't. All right. Ready. <laughs> and, uh, oh, by the way, it's Wasted Wednesdays with Frosty. Which means that this is Frosty's Bar Tales. <laughs> now, still getting over a little bit of being sick, but that won't be as much of an issue as it was in the last episode. So I, <laughs> today, boy, do I have a good one for you guys, because I love you so much. Um, well, first off, I decided that maybe it's time to clean up the show a little bit. Maybe it's time to cut back on the swears. Maybe it's time to, mm -mm. However, this is not going to be the time I do that, because as I was driving back from South Kakilaki um, to Illinois, where I reside, um, that's a long-ass drive, and um, I was kind of rehearsing this next story that I'm going to tell you lovely people, and it was just like, there's no way of getting around the swears on this one, they have to come out. So, this one is in... So, I'm going to start cleaning up on Frosty Friday, this upcoming episode. Tune into that. So, this one is called Beauty and the Beast. So, I'm not wearing the rings because there's probably going to be some parts where I... And, obviously, I'm sunburned. So, that would hurt. Um... So, Beauty of the Beast. So, one day, one night, right? I'm working. I'm outside doing ideas, as I do. And, um, these two women walk up to me. Uh, one gorgeous. Very, very pretty. Uh, the other, <laughs> not so much. Uh, so, I'm going to hell. That's fine. Um, so, again. It's my job. I, ladies, can I have your IDs, please? In all fairness, they did not look 21. They legit did not look 21. They looked way younger. I'm not just saying that for the sake of saying it. I'm not saying it for the sake of being nice. I'm not saying it, saying it for the sake of being sweet. I'm not saying it for the sake of being... Eh. No, I mean it. They did not look 21. So, whenever, so I'm like, ladies, do you have your IDs, please? And they go, do we not look 21? I'm like, no, you don't. No, you do not. I would say 18. Because I was being legitimately honest. That's how old they looked. And Beauty was like, oh, aren't you sweet? And she kind of did that whole thing. Gave me your ID, walked inside. Beast, however, was a real bitch. And um, she was not so nice. And she decided, so how old do I look? Keep in mind, they were my age. Actually, they were uh, about three months younger than me, both of them. So, wow, good for them. Good idea. Well, the first one anyway, not the second one because she, mm. So, she goes, well, how old do I look? 
Like, I seriously guess 18. Try again. Okay, maybe she wants me to go younger. So I'm like, uh, okay, how about 60? Try again. See, at this point, I no longer give a shit. So, I'm like, 14. She goes, try again. I'm like, 38. 42. Give me your ID. And she's just fine here. So I take it, I look at it. 29. So, mm, see so scanner. Here you go. She goes, thanks, fucker. And walks back inside. I'm like, She didn't. She did. Okay. Alright. You just broke cardinal law. Cardinal club law. Don't piss off the guy at the front door. So. Whatever will I do. I'm in a good mood. I'm, I'm going to let it slide. She's inside. And whatever. So. I thought I was done with her. I was wrong. So. She proceeds to come outside and hit on me throughout the rest of the night. And. I'm sorry, time out, if you want to hit on me and try to get somewhere, I'm a traditional person, spoiler alert, I'm very traditional, flatter me, that's all you have to do, say my eyes are pretty, say I'm funny, say I'm charming, say something, I don't really care, as long as it's not fucker, and expect to just give me attitude, but then expect to get somewhere, it doesn't work that way with me, so... I'm simple. I admit this. Have you seen this? So, <laughs> so, um, so she comes out. I look pretty, don't I? Like, good luck finding somebody drunk enough to agree with you, because Lord knows it's not this guy. I mean, good Lord. I mean, she was so full of herself. And when I say full of herself, I mean she was also full of herself. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh god I was not expecting that to be as funny as it was that's nice to me so uh, so but she was full of herself I mean she's just like I look good no you don't and it's, it was just like I said I know I'm not the best looking guy around I'm fine with that but I'd like to at least say I'm a seven. On a good day, this chick was looking for. So, not that there's anything wrong with that. Hi. So, I mean, she is just, I look good, don't I? Yeah. Don't I look good in this dress? This dress looks so pretty on me. And she is drunk. I mean, drunk as hell. I mean, good God. Good luck finding somebody. I mean, Ray Charles could see that this chick was just and he's blind and dead rest in peace so I'm too nice of a guy to go bitch get out the way or you're ugly as sin I, I how do I tell I cannot tell a woman who's hitting on me that she's an absolute dumpster fire I can't do that I'm not that kind of person so it's like, well, I gotta find him a creative way to say, leave me alone, you annoying bitch. So, like, you started it. I want nothing to do with you. Go away. So I gotta figure out a way to do this now. So, it hits me like a ton of bricks. See, it didn't hurt because it did it softly. That it brings on. So, her fr it's at the end of the night. We close down the deck. People come outside and smoke. Blah, blah, blah. So... The hot friend comes outside. She's having a cigarette. She's standing right there. And I didn't have a girlfriend at the time. So it was just, I could look. And I used to be like, man, foxy. So then the lush comes outside next. And she, she is just sashaying her drunken self all over the place. And she goes, don't I look pretty in this dress? You sure do. She goes, oh, I know you want me. <laughs> oh, you clearly don't know shit. Because I want nothing to do with you. 
and I just figured out a way to show that. So, she goes, just be honest, you do. I look good, you know this. I'm like, here we go. So, keeping, so I position myself to where she's in front of me, and her friend is right here. So, I'm like, yeah, yeah, you do look good. Like, can you do me one huge solid favor? And she goes, what's that? I'm like, your friend has a really nice ass. Can you do me a favor and go put in a good word for me? I'd greatly appreciate that. And she goes, oh, I'm like, oh, what? And she, <laughs> and she just goes, how dare you? I'm like, how dare I what? And she goes, you kissed my ass. I'm like, what did I do? I didn't do anything. And she goes, oh, you know, fuck you. I'm like, not on your best day, madam. And she storms, she literally storms off and just runs off the property. I'm like, bye. And her, uh, her, her hot friend walks up and she goes, what happened? I'm like, I don't know. Like, I just, we were talking. She ran away. And she goes, oh, we're besties. And I know, I know she wouldn't run off like that. What really happened? If you really want me to be honest here, she goes, yes. I'm like, okay. Uh, she was kind of a bitch to me earlier, as you know. She goes, well, yeah. And I'm like, well, uh, I proceeded to tell her that I thought you were attractive. And if you, she could put in a good word for me. And she goes, you think I'm attractive? I'm like, uh-huh, yeah. I'm like, is there anybody else that couldn't agree with me? I'm like, no, there is no like, you can go ask anybody in this bar well, there's full of drugs. So, eh. Like, but no, you go find a silver person and ask them that same question, I guarantee the answer's gonna be yes. And she goes, Well that's so sweet of you. I'm like and she goes, Well But isn't the age difference a problem? I'm like, what do you mean? She goes, well, I'm 29. I'm like, the age issue is not, or the age is not an issue, and I'll tell you why. When's your birthday? She told me the month. Again, I'm older than she is by, like, four months, and, um, or no, it's three months, and I'm like, yeah, see, I was born in August, so I'm 29, and I'm older than you are. She goes, you're 29? I'm like, Yep. Sure am. She goes, no way. Let me see your ID. So I'm showing my ID. <laughs> Change your pace. So she just, oh, wow. Good for you. I'm like, good for you too. Because, I mean, 24, 25, maybe. Seriously, 18. And she just goes, well, then, in that case, if the age isn't an issue, then I'd love to do something. I'm like, score. Oh, yeah, get up there. Right there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. That's, that's enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. enough applause we gotta end this so that is that everybody if you haven't watched uh the episode entitled uh 10 things to piss off frosty go watch it it's one of my favorite episodes it's so in a good way so go watch that and real and go see why i don't like it when people give me Shits when I ask them for their IDs. So, just, it's, just don't give me shit. Because I've realized one thing. Like I said, go young. If they ask you at 21, it's best to say, no, you don't. Because if a 40-year-old walks up to me uh, and she's got wrinkles all over her face, she's got gray hair showing, and I ask for ID, and she goes, well, do I... Do I not look of age? And I go, well, no, you look old as shit, uh, but I'm just doing my job. I guarantee I'm going to get slapped. 
So it's like I always do the right thing and I round down. That's what I do. I don't tell it like it is. I don't round up. If a girl walks up and he goes, do I look fat and stressed? She could look like a fucking Kool-Aid man. I'm not going to say yes. I'm going to say no. No, you do not. You look amazing. Because, it's yeah, it's a little white lie. But you know what? It's best to do that. So, your feelings don't get hurt. So, do what? Do, like, just stop. If I say you don't look of age, take this compliment. Stop it. Don't give me shit for it. So that frosty tip of the week, if he asks for your ID, give it to him. And if he, if you ask, do I not look of age, and he gives you a low number, don't give him shit. Listen to the man, he knows what he's talking about. He's, he's, he's clearly smart. So that is going to be that, everybody. So, hope you all enjoyed. Mm -hmm. So that was that was that. So thank you for joining me. Greatly appreciate that. So everybody, if you haven't joined the Bomb Squad yet, why haven't you joined the other 4,300 we have? Last time I checked, it was like 4,334 or something like that. And we're rapidly growing, guys. We are. And it's thanks to you. It's not me. It's you. So thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yes. Do it. There we go. So that is that. Thank you. Don't forget to join me on Frosty Friday because I have another frostastic story for you. So until next time, everybody. You don't. Oh yeah, you don't want to miss out on all the other bar tales that we do because they are just the glorious. And uh, you don't want to miss out on all the other stuff we do on the other side of the channel. So. And I have a new form of content coming out. Yes, I do. And um, it's it's going to be rewarding. So don't forget to check that out because I am going out there to bust all the bad guys. So that's a nice little subtle hint as to what I'm talking about. So, everybody, till next time, take care now. Bye-bye then. Shut up, stomach. And you stay classy.